I got some art and craft supply stocking stuffers for my daughter and you know of course I had to try them out first and I realized that a lot of these I actually want for myself so maybe these are some fun stocking stuffers something that is a little different than brush pens that you don't have yet that could be kind of fun. So first it started with these three things and then I added a few more and you'll see that. So these gem stickers, my daughter is obsessed with anything sparkly and gems and these were really fun and then I like them too. And then these are some fun washi tapes. These have been on my list to get for a long time now. I just really like these specific kinds and I'm going to show you them all closer in just a little bit. I especially love this rainbow one. And then the next thing, I wanted to try these gel crayons. These are scented. They're Mr. Sketch and they're scented. And I thought that would be really fun for her. However, I'm going to let you know why I was wrong about that. And then the next thing I had to try was these Mayped graph pens. It looked like they had a little bit of a flexible tip. So I'll show you those too. Okay, starting with these scented gel crayons, I started using them and it honestly feels like you are coloring with lipstick. Like it is that smooth and there's even a smell to these. I mean, it's obviously not the lipstick smell, but these were so much fun to use. They're a little bit hard to letter with to get really precise letters because it's like a really soft crayon and they smudge a lot to the next page so they're actually not the best for a bullet journal because the crayon will smudge on to the next page and my daughter didn't like the smell of a few of them so i found a different set that is not scented and i'll show you those in a little bit the white one looks great on top of the other ones and i even tried it on black paper and it's pretty cool of white crayon and black paper. I wanted to add these gem stickers onto my rainbow and I really love this tiny little bit of sparkle. It doesn't add too much. I mean, yes, it is 3D, but it doesn't add too much to my journal that I can't close it still. And now looking at these washi tapes, this is just a set that I found on Amazon and I really love the gold foil detail on them. The colors are so bright and the patterns are really fun and really pretty. I do not need more washi tape. So th that's how I justified getting this because it's for my daughter. Although, you know, I'm going to have to steal those rainbow ones and I need to use up more of my own washi tape before I get some more for me. But I just think this washi tape is so beautiful. This is such a great set if you're just starting out with washi tape. Next with these Mayped graph pens. So like I said, I thought that they were a little bit of a flexible tip. I was going to try and see if they could be like the Monami plus 3000 and they aren't really, I still like those ones better, but they are a little bit. So they do have a tiny little bit of flexibility and the colors are fun. So you can get a fine tip or a slightly thicker downstroke with a little bit more pressure. The colors are really nice and so yeah these are fun they're not mind-blowing but my daughter loves trying new pens with me so we'll enjoy them and so I did this word with it so you see that you can get some pretty calligraphy with it and then like I said because my daughter did not like the smell of some of those crayons I tried this other set and this was half the price of the other ones so these are from Mr. Pen on Amazon and they are exactly the same as the other ones, but they don't smell. The tip is a little bit smaller, which actually is nicer for lettering because you can get a little bit more precise lines. The colors are pretty similar. There's a few differences, but I like both of the colors just fine. And then I've seen that you can do these with watercolor and I was wondering if maybe that would solve the problem of how it's transferring to the other page if I use them as watercolor instead of directly as the crayon. So I was just trying them out on watercolor paper and they work really, really well as watercolor. They are really fun. You can see that you can either use them directly as the watercolor or scribble a little bit and then use the brush as if you were dipping your brush into paint and then 
letter in that way and I decided to do a rainbow background here on this page using that method. This is my Archer and Olive notebook so it's not watercolor paper. It's not going to have the same really smooth blend that you can get on watercolor paper but I wanted it directly in my notebook so I was okay with having a little more harsh lines instead of a perfect blend and you can see that it works really well these are great I don't think I could do the same thing on a palette because I think it might stick onto the palette more. I usually do my brush pens on a palette and use them as watercolor that way. These ones, I would want to use them directly on a piece of paper instead of a palette. I don't know. And then because the other side I used the crayons, I didn't want to get that black crayon onto my rainbow. So I used this piece of paper and the washi tape and I just taped it in. It will be like an extra little surprise as I'm flipping through my journal. And then I wanted on the white side to add some stickers. So I just found whatever random stickers I had and then added them in. It's like totally random here, but I didn't want it to be just white. But then I was seeing how when I close it and open it, it gets more of the black marks on it. And so I decided to just go with that and add lots of little black marks so that it would kind of blend in and it wouldn't seem like it was just an accident. <laughs> like I did that on purpose and I like that better. So it's not just a white page with my stickers and it's just a fun little page to see my stickers and then flip it over and there's a little surprise rainbow in here. And then I have this mustache that came with the Mr. Pen crayons. I guess Mr. Pen's logo is this mustache. And so I wrote cool because I don't know, cool dude with a mustache. I don't know. It's the first word that came to my mind. And then I wanted to put that mustache in the middle of my rainbow, just kind of random. But sometimes you just need totally random journal pages. So Next, I want to show you how it actually looks on black paper, and you can see most of the colors are just okay. The green one was pretty good, so the lighter colors look a lot better than the darker colors, like the purple really doesn't show up at all, and the black obviously, but the white is so cool. So I have a black journal, an Archer and Olive journal with black pages, and I think this is going to be really cool. Although there is the problem of it smudging onto the other page. So I guess I still have to figure out that, but this is cool. Ooh, it would also be cool if this was like white watercolor on the black pages. I'm going to have to try that. So here are the pages that I did with all of the new stocking stuffer supplies that I have. And I had so much fun with these. I have been really enjoying coloring with these with my daughter because they're so easy to color with. You don't have to press as hard as you do with regular crayons. So it's a lot of fun. It does smudge onto whatever page. So that is a problem, but they are a lot more fun than regular crayons. So I hope this gave you some ideas of some fun new lettering supplies for your stash. I hope you have a great Christmas and I'll see you in my next video.